Hello, my lovely friends and inner CEO alchemists. Um, I have been wanting to just do a guided meditation for everybody just to bring harmony and balance into our lives and our bodies. Um, just because times are kind of weird and stressful right now. And so I'm just going to riff. Um, it's hard for me to get in the zone. It's a little bit harder for me to get in the zone when I don't actually have people's energy here that I'm working with since I channel everybody's energy. But I'm nevertheless going to pretend that you all are here and I'm going to close my eyes and just do a guided meditation. And um, I don't have any music to go with it. And I don't really know how to do that. That's a tech glitch. So fuck it. You know, take perfect action. So here we go. All right. Um, so I'm just going to get in the zone. And you guys, just close your eyes and just listen to my words. And let's see what uh, Divine Beloved, my team, my squadron, God, my angels, beings of light, power animals, totems, guardians, all the good things that I work with. We ask them to come in <coughs> and to just support us all in bringing in an awareness that all is well. It may not look like all is well, but we have to trust that the universe has our back, and that everything is unfolding in divine right timing and in the divine right way. And it is only our judgments of what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad that creates our suffering. So when we can eliminate all of these labels of what we are seeing out in the world, we are better able to observe, be the Buddha. Be the Buddha is what I used to say to myself when I had panic disorder. Be the Buddha. What would, what would the Buddha do? And the Buddha would just be, oh, isn't this interesting? So isn't it interesting all the things that are happening in the world right now? And I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but if I'm in faith and positive expectation, then I can surrender my fear, I can surrender my frustration, and I can stay in integrity in my body with my harmony and my peace and my faith. And so I invite us all to do this and to simply be the Buddha, be a curious observer of all that is, trusting that God, source, higher self, whatever you work with, Divine Beloveds is my name, that Divine Beloveds is figuring it all out for me and is going to help me shoot the rapids and float peacefully in the calm times and is going to guide my boat. So I want you to surrender your fear right now in this moment so that you can begin to receive the love that surrounds you. This beautiful, beautiful essence of wisdom and truth that is always available to us when we drop our barriers of fear and judgment and just frustration, anger, all the things, right? So I want you to imagine that you're in a glass tube right now. And that glass tube is all those things I just named. It's your judgment. It's your fear. It's your anger. It's your loneliness. It's your desperation. It's your scarcity. All the things that we all dabble with periodically, put on our palette, if you will, and start painting our lives with. So I want you to drop those barriers and see that tube of glass just dropping down into the ground. And now you are able to expand your energy out and become one with this beautiful, beautiful quantum field that surrounds us, that's always available, this wisdom, this living, breathing intelligence that is around us, this energy that knows all things. And so, Imagine even the barrier of your body now dissolving away 
and becoming one with this energy around you. This is the divine essence of who you are and expand your energy out. And the more you expand out, you know, first to the ends of your fingertips, if your arms were outstretched, that's your aura when it's nice and healthy. And then expand your energy out to fill the room that you're in. Then expand your energy out to fill the house that you're in, knowing that all animals, plants, and humans in it is receiving the divine love that you are. And then expand your energy out to your neighborhood, filling your field with love, compassion, faith, understanding. And then expand your energy out to fill your town, knowing that you are an essence of love. You are choosing love in this moment. You have a choice in every moment to choose love over all those other things that created that glass tube that cut you off and shut you off from your optimal health, from your optimal happiness, from your optimal wealth, from your optimal abundance, from your optimal joy and inner peace. And then you can choose love as you go through each day and each moment. And it's sort of like asking yourself, Am I expanded in love or am I closed off and shut up in my tube with all of my limitations? Limiting beliefs, collapsing vibrations. The more expanded we are, the more we can receive the divine love that is our birthright. So think of yourself as a vessel, your little glass tube. I always think of like, beam me up, Scotty. Your little glass tube created by all your judgments and all your bullshit that your mind tells you makes your vessel like a single rosebud vase. And when you drop those things, those judgments, those beliefs, those frequencies, and you expand out, you become like a bucket for a billion flowers. All kinds of things can flow in, right? So if your life is feeling small, is feeling fearful, is feeling scared and tight, you know that you are walking around being a rosebud. I always like to put things in the positive slant. So you're being a rosebud vase. You can only hold one single rosebud. But if you can expand out into this larger bucket, barrel, make your container as big as you want, there is so much that the universe, that Divine Beloveds is eager to gift you in your life but we can only receive the really good juicy stuff when we are in a place of love and gratitude, appreciation. So in this place right now, tap into these frequencies, love, gratitude, appreciation. It doesn't matter how shitty your life is, we all have a lot of stuff going on in our lives. There is always a choice point every second of every day. And that choice point is to focus on problems and challenges with fear and anger or to focus on possibility and solution and possibilities and solutions that we don't even know exist. We don't have the bandwidth in our puny little human brain to conceive, but the divine does. And as I have seen played out in my life many, many, many times, the divine indeed has gifts that far exceed what I could even imagine possible. So just sit in the energy 
that all of these words and concepts and images and analogies have brought into your body. I want you to remember it's not your job to figure out the how. It is only your job to proclaim and desire and be clear in what you want. Your body can be riddled with ill health. Your clarity and your desire is for your body to be youthful and vital and joyful and strong and supple and flexible and healthy. You don't have enough money in the bank. Your desire and clarity is that you want to feel choice, financial freedom, ease, and peace in your relationship with money. In your relationship with love, you want to feel respected, appreciated, boosted up and buoyed up by the people in your life. Anything else, adventure, fun, travel, whatever. It's your job to be clear and to ask the universe for it, but don't worry about the how. The how is what collapses this juicy energy that we have. The how is where our brains, our human brains, you're not broken if this happens, is wired to fire with, yeah, but, what about, what if, and they're all negative things. Your brain is wired to fire with the challenges that you might encounter, not with the excitement and the possibility. So just, you know, acknowledge, oh, my brain is being brainy. It's, it's being a human brain right now. It's humaning right now, right? But you have inside you an infinite being. You are an infinite being. And that ego mind, that human braining stuff that it does, the monkey mind bullshit, that is all just a tiny portion of who you are. And we give all of our power to that. Instead of giving all our power to the infinite being that resides within us. All possibility and potential lies within us. But we have to make a concerted effort to tap into that daily. To be in silence, to be in gratitude, to be in love. And the way we build energetic connections and bridges from where we are now to what we want to experience in the future is sending out a light beam of love to the image of that thing. And that's how miracles happen. It doesn't matter how impossible your brain tells you something is. When you are in a place of faith and infinite possibility because you are a divine infinite being, you can create magic in your life. And it takes practice, it takes effort, it takes consistency. And in my business, I teach the women the efforting part of building your business is this work. Because when you do this kind of work, the actual actions that you're taking are going to be very supported and very laid out for you. It will be made plain as day what your next actions are supposed to take. But the universe, divine beloveds, cannot show us these action steps or the how if we are not being clear in what we want and we are not connecting that light bridge, that energetic vibrational bridge to it through the connection with love and appreciation and gratitude. So if you wanna feel more inner peace, visualize what does that feel like for you to go through your day, tapped in, tuned in, turned on to your infinite power to your confidence, to your success, to your abundance, your peace. See that you and send a light bridge connection to it with love. Love her, your future you. Appreciate her and let 
God, source, divine beloveds show you the how to get there. So I want you to take from this meditation the concept of, am I being a single rosebud vase because I have a glass tube around me full of the judgments of what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, how long something takes, how fast something happens, how old am I, how young am I, all the stuff. Or are you dropping daily those things to expand out into a very wide mouth vessel that can receive so many beautiful blossoms and buds to make your bouquet, your life experiences, beautiful, colorful, vibrant, alive, inspiring. And it is a simple choice. Every second of every day, we are faced with a choice point to be in faith and love and abundance and hope or to be in anger, fear, scarcity, dread, loneliness, hopelessness. And the how is up to God. It's not our job to figure out the how. It's just our job to take each step as we are guided each all day long in the frequency of love, appreciation, excitement, joy, fun. That's where your power is. So I love you all. I hope this little download, I've never had done that meditation before. It all downloaded because I was tapping into my sisters and my alchemists. And I had you all here in the room with me. And I hope that this meditation will spark a new way of thinking about how are you operating in every moment of your day. Are you a single rosebud or are you a voluminous barrel full of a bunch of flowers? It's your choice. Every day is a choice point. I love you all. Blessed be.